Half Moy and Phil, it's Trash Talk with Tuna Canyon and Bill Judd. Welcome to Trash Talk, I'm Tuna Canyon, with me as always is Milk Jug. Glad to be here. We've got a great show for you today. We've got the head of the Plastic Army, General Joey, with us in the studio. What an honor. I know, let's not waste any time, let's bring him out. Ladies and gentlemen, Army General Joey! Hey guys, it's so great to be here. We're so happy to have you. You've done so many great things. You famously fought in the war against the Rat King. You've helped secure the freedom to the compost people. But in your own opinion, if you could pick one thing to be remembered by, what would it be? Well, um, that's a great question, Tuna. I think that um, the thing I'm most proud of um, would be taking over this show and destroying everything that you've worked for. Um, causing severe, severe mental trauma to you, basically. Um, basically ruining your entire life. You what? What's he talking about? I, I don't get it. Tuna, what's going on? Well, um, I'm taking over the show, and there's um, nothing you can do about it, because I have uh, these army guys, and we're going to torture you, and um, when you're too weak to continue begging for your own life, we're going to put you in the ground, and we're going to set it on fire. Oh, jeez, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Jeez, idiots. Another nightmare? Yeah, same one. It's been three years, Tuna. Maybe you should see someone. What would be the point? I don't think I'll ever get over it. We worked so hard on that show. It's our show, and they just took it. And they did great things with it. I don't know. It was fun, but I kind of like the life we have now. We go where we want, we sleep in. It's relaxing. You want some more? No, no thanks. Trash Talk was my dream. I spent my whole life trying to host a talk show, and I finally got it. It's not fair. We put in all the work. Never should have fired Terry. Eh. Never mind. Better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Yeah, maybe. Why don't you get some sleep? You sure? I don't want you to suffer alone. I'll be okay. Get some sleep. Uh, jeez, man, Terry, can we can we maybe get a hold of him? Do you think he's okay? Okay, this might hurt a Courtney, little bit. Maybe we should, Terry, I can't. That's a great story, Terry. Can we get some guests that are not so depressing? Yes. Oh no, Terry, I, I thought we weren't letting this guy on set. Oh. 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 Terry, oh. Terry, call the police. Oh, Terry, you're fired. I can't do this anymore. Terry, Terry, you're fired. You're fired. I know what I have to do. No, Chuck, wake up. I know what I have to what? do. What? What's happening? Is it Gibbons? Is it a Gibbons attack? Going into the landfill. What are, you, what are you talking about? What time is it? It's time to get our show back. Okay, so there's no Gibbons because they're shifty, you know, and you're supposed to be on watch, and I just think that maybe you don't take it as seriously as I do. There's no Gibbons, milk jug. <laughs> since you've been here. Looks different. Yeah. All right, we need to split up. I need you to go find Turdy Brown. Oh yeah, I miss that guy. He's great. Yeah, he's real great. I need you to talk to him and ask him if he knows anything about General Joey's army and if there's a way to get us on set. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go find Terry. Terry? Really? Hello? Where's Tatuna? You fired him, remember? I know, but he's the only chance we have of getting our show back. If you say so. Do you even know where he is? Last I heard, he went to the compost temple and joined the compost people. Have fun with that. Bunch of weirdos, if you ask me. Yeah, they're a little strange. It's like, get a job or something instead of just rotting away in the dirt, you know? Who's that helping? Right, well... I'm out here trying to make a living, trying to be part of society, and they're in that dirt temple singing crappy songs and laying about like a bunch of lazy pigs. Yeah, well, they're entitled to their way of life, too, even though it's kind of a, kind of a cult. You call that a way of life? Please. And it's not kind of a cult, it's a full-blown cult. Okay, well, get going. Go find Terry. Full blown call. You might not come back, you know. They'll brainwash you. I'll be okay. Go find Terry. Yeah, I bet that's what Terry thought. I don't know. 
Now I'm second guessing it. It's fine, really. Go find Trudy. Okay. Nice knowing you. Good luck with the loony bin. I'll be fine. Let's go, people. We got a big show tonight. Okay, we got those idiots from Wheel Housewives at the Trash Can on the show. Okay, they're a wealthy bunch, so we gotta make everything is perfect for them. Because they're, they're a bunch of idiots. Where's my assistant? Here, sir. Can you find me a guest for my blowtorch segment yet? No, sir. It's difficult to find someone willing to get melted by a blowtorch on TV. Okay, well... Just go find anybody, then. They don't have to be willing. Um, you can use an Ollie guy if you want. Just someone. Um, just go get that and go go find a blowtorch. Now, get out of here, because you're making me uncomfortable with all your circuits and your quippy voice. I don't even know what you're saying half the time. Understood, sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, I love being a TV guy. So I said, I don't even know why you called me, because I don't know who you are. He said I was his brother, but I don't have any brother. So I said, your mom gets me to Salamanca? And I said, no, my mom Reverend Denise Brown. And he said, is your name Gary Salamanca? And I said, no, my name... Trudy? It's Trudy Brown? Who's saying that? It's me, Milk Jug, from Trash Talk. Remember? With Tuna Can and Milk Jug? Um, I seem to remember some kind of show, but I don't remember you. I was the co-host. Mm, I remember a two-liter bottle of orange soda, but not a Milk Jug. Could've been ginger ale, maybe diet. I was also the show's DJ. They called me DJ Dreams. DJ Dreams? Is that the DJ that played all those beats? I like all those beats all those years ago. Yeah, that was me. Tuna and I are back in the landfill and we're here to take the show back. That's cool. I haven't been in with a dance since you guys left. Nobody around playing those sick beats make me go all wiggle wiggle. Well, we're back and I'm here to see if you can help us. Well, I'll do what I can, but I'm just a little turd. Can't do much but stink around being smelly. Turdy, you know the word around town. Is there any way we can sneak on set? Do you know anything about General Joey and his army? Well, maybe. Let me see what I have in the pipe. Anyway, like I was saying... He said, you I said, no, my name's Turdy Brown. He said, Turdy Brown. There's a whistle. He said, Turdy Brown. I said, yeah. He said, is that a whistle? I don't think that's gonna help. There was something there, it's some more stuff. Hmm, I don't think so. Hey, Turdy, I'm gonna head out. Nice catching up with you. Okay, see you later. Thanks for double bye. Anyway. Hey, where'd that limp ball go? Jackpot. Ew. Ew. Go post where are you? Come on, post. The compost people! Compost! Compost! Great thing! Gary? It's Tuna. Can we talk? Look, I'm sorry I fired you. Sorry for a lot of things. I just want to talk. Terry? Oh. Did you say Jerry? I'm Jerry. Uh, no, I said Terry. Terry? No, Terry with a T? Well, I was a potato once, but now they call me Jerry Davis. Urgh, almost done there. Almost one with the dirt. Take me, O oh Lord of the Rotten. A couple more years of this and I'll be there. Be where? Be there. Like Kyle. See? <laughs> Man, what is this place? You're in the compost temple. The... No, I know what it is. I'm just... What? Deflecting? Because you're uncomfortable? Because we're a cult? Yes. That's fine. You're your own person. You want to sit in the dirt for a while? No. There's a place next to Kyle. There's always going to be more room. Help me. Please. Get me out of here. I'm not decomposing. I'm a smartphone. I don't even know how I even got in here, but they won't let me leave. Please, I'm not supposed to be here. You could leave. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. I'm here for a friend. Dennis left. It was just fine. Terry, have you, have you seen him? Do you know Terry? If your friend is here, it's too late. He even came back. He's right there. Yeah, you could leave at any time. It's fine. You gotta get out of here. Your friend might be in the Great Hall. Oh, okay, thanks. Go! Go! No, the, no, the other way! 
It's fine, just real quick. What even are you, really? You're just so weird. Sorry, sir, I was born like this. What do you got, like, Wobot 10? Are you a Wobot? Are you some kind of computer chip man, friend? What really are you? I'm not sure, sir. It's complicated. Yeah, well, you're weird. <laughs> Tell you that. You're a weirdo. You're such a weird idiot. Thank you, sir. Alright, I'm gonna go. See you later, stupid mon idiot thing. Oh, jeez. I hate this guy. I wish there was a way I could just get rid of him. Okay. Trash talk, tell us you. Why didn't we think of that? Man. Well, I guess Tuna's not back yet. I better just lay low here. Oh crap, it's those stupid army clowns. <laughs> oh man, things are getting real dicey out here. See anything? Now keep your eyes peeled for intruders. Where are you, Tuna? Terry? The one you seek is here, but his soul has been transformed. Oh, who are you? I am but a humble compost monk. You can call me Emery. Hi, Emery. I'm... Tuttle. What? I have a last name. It's Tuttle. My name is Emery Tuttle. Okay. Hi, Emery Tuttle. You don't have to use my last name. I just wanted you to know it. Okay. Well, uh, I'm looking for my friend Terry. On some occasions, the last name is more appropriate to use than the first name. Uh, I don't actually know his last name. Like, if you had a good friend, they may call you by your last name exclusively. So, Terry... For example, we should call Tuttle, or, hey, Tuttle's here. Do you want me to call you Tuttle? Not yet. I don't know you yet. Why are you here? Uh, I'm looking for my friend Terry. He came here a while ago. I need his help. I can tell that it is indeed true. You do require help, but it is not the help you seek. Your soul... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My soul is suffering. I should join your stupid cult to cleanse my spirit. I get it. Uh, but I really just need to talk to Terry. I was just gonna... You were gonna just offer me eternal happiness? Is that it? Well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Well, you don't have to tell me how awful of a person I am and try to get me to join your cult, okay? I'm not suffering. It's not a cult. No, of course not. Look, I'm looking for Terry. It's important. The one you call Terry no longer goes by that name. He has a last name now. Okay, go ahead. What's his name now? His new name is Super Terry. Here we go. His old first name is his new last name now, and he changed his first name from Terry to Super. Each follower of the compost gets to choose a new name when they join. Buddy, you really get a kick out of the names, don't you? Yes. The S is a dollar sign. Uh, of course it is. Wait. The name you picked was Emery Tuttle? Yes. Oh, God. No Tuttle's right. Like, it sounds confident, but not threatening. Also, Emery is kind of a weird first name, so most people might just go with the last name. But Tuttle is like a funny guy in the group, you know? Not really. Do you know where I can find... Super Terry? Ah, no need to look. Here he is now. Terry, I mean, Super Terry. Hi. Are you okay? It's been a while. Super Terry has taken a vow of silence in honor of the Compost Lord of Dirt. Who's the Compost Lord of Dirt? Gary Lipson. Perfect. Listen, listen, Terry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I'm sorry that I was controlling on set and offset. I just wanted everything to go a certain way, and if it didn't, I would blame everyone else. It wasn't fair. The truth is, if we did the show my way, it would stink. The show was only great when you were the producer. I just didn't see it. And I'm sorry. Making a show is a group effort, and I know that now. Milk Chick and I are taking back the show, and I... We can't do it without you. We need you. Will you help us? Are you sure you don't want to just join our cult? See, I knew it was a cult. No, wait, oh crap. Terry, please. Let's get the show back. This place isn't for you. You're better than this. You're... You're super Terry. Rocks, please. I've got all the best rocks. Hard ones, soft ones, ones that float on the water. You've come to the right place, kiddo. Rocks don't float. Do you even know what you're selling? Well, these ones do. Float right to the top. Ever, ever hear of hitting, hitting rock top? No. 
You know what I mean, right? Because it's the top. Nobody wants to hit, to hit rock, rock bottom. Wow, well, I think that... Like me. I gotta go, Junker. Yeah. You keep you keep up going up there. Keep keep reaching for the reach for the sky. Top dog, sky sky dog. Reach for the rock top. <sighs> Sit. Send me a postcard when you get there. Junk, junker man, saying, is that you? Someone's calling me. Let's give him one more big show, Junker. Junker, is that you? It's me, Tuna from Trash Talk. Ah, uh, yes, the guy who promised me to have him on a show and then got dumped. You ruined my life. Well, if it's any consolation, my life is ruined too. It's not. Here to ask me to feel bad for you? No, that's not. Because I can't. I just. I, what? Are you? Uh, it's Terry. The answers I seek are inside me? What? We were born of the dirt, and one day we shall return. Terry? The essence of life grows the roots in the soul. The soul flowers in the mind of the child. The child suckles from the teat of the rotten. Tuna, there you are. Guess what? Oh, hi, Terry. What's going on? Nice diaper. It's a cape. Terry's a compost muck now. Also, his name is Super Terry. Told you there were a bunch of whack jobs. Oh, hey, Junker, what's up with you? Everything. Now that I've seen the light inside the darkness. Whoa. Are you going to help us take the show back? If Gary Lipson approves. What? Right, Terry? Now I'll do it. What's the plan? Yeah, Terry, what's the plan? He's taking a vow of silence. Oh, is it okay if we talk? Uh, I don't know, actually. Super Terry, is it okay if we talk? Well, anyway, Terry gave me this flyer for the Trash Talk Talent Show. Watch out, it's got turd on it. Oh, that's perfect. But which one of the four of us has the best talent? I don't know, do you have any? I don't think so. Except hosting talk shows. Super Terry, can you do anything cool with your new monk powers? Yeah, can you fly or control fire or something? Figures. What about you, Junker? I can sell stuff, though I'm admittedly not very good at it. Wait a minute. Milk Jug, you're a DJ. You can do a DJ set. Oh, yeah. It's been a while, but I could give it a shot, only I don't have a DJ booth. I've got one. Really? Yeah. One sec. Hold on. Wow, it's just like my old one on the show. Yes, just just like it. That's amazing, Junker. That'll be $250,000. Uh, okay, um, I'll send you a check. You better. Now, we just have to figure out... Or I'll find you. No, you'll, you'll get it. Um, okay, now, we just have to figure out how to get us all to the audition without being noticed. I have an idea. Why don't we... We, we cut a hole. Right? Stay with me. We cut a hole into the back of Milk Jug's big dumb head. Whoa! And we'll all pile inside. We're not cutting a hole. I'll be whole milk, get it? <laughs> He's gonna do it. Milk Jug, I don't think. Whole milk, get it? Whole milk, I get it. It's a great joke and a great plan. Okay, turn around and I'll get to cutting. Uh, is this gonna hurt? Probably. I'll go quick. <laughs> whole milk. <laughs> Can't stop laughing. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, all oh, done. jeez. Milk jug. You okay, bud? Milk jug? I feel not good. Ah, oh, jeez. I knew this was a bad idea. Hold. Hold it. I definitely don't feel 100% myself. I feel more like 2%. <laughs> 2%, get it? <laughs> 2% milk, I get it, huh? <laughs> Uh, oh, milk, it. <laughs> oh man! I thought I heard more. Okay, we're getting ready to do a show here. Um, we're getting ready to do our first show. So before we start the show, I just want to say that um, I hate talent shows. I hate most of you, and I hate this show. And I hate myself. Sometimes you can hate yourself. Um, I hate pretty much everything. So um, that's kind of why I'm such a jerk. Uh, I hate that guy. I hate. That guy, he's an idiot, he's a loser, um, you guys are nerds, um, so everybody have a good show, um, make sure that nothing goes wrong or you'll be destroyed, uh, I'll probably destroy most of you anyways, um, all the guys are like a dime a dozen, really, um, so we've got three talent show contestants to get through before this is all over, so let's just make it quick, then we have my blowtorch grand finale, and then uh, it's over. 
Here's your blowtorch, sir. I had to make it myself. Rest assured, it works wonderfully. I know that you'll just die when you see it. Sarcasm. Stop talking, okay? Everyone, please. Places, places, please. Don't screw us up, okay? It's taken us three years to get this show together, okay? So go break your legs, okay? Nope, Jerry, you ready? It all comes down to you. If you pull this off, we'll get our show back. I'm so nervous. I've never really performed for this many people. Don't worry, we'll all be inside you. Great, more voices in my head. What? Nothing. Okay, when Milk Jug gives the signal, we attack. What's the signal? Oh, yeah. We haven't decided yet. What do you think? Well, what if I started crying? Uh, that's... Can you do that on command? I don't know, I never tried. Maybe we use something else. What about a fart? What if it's silent? How will we know? Oh, you'll know, believe me. That's gross. Good work, though. Just make sure you get out of there before you faint. Wait, what if I fart? I fart when I'm nervous. Don't fart. It's involuntary. Well, try to empty your tanks now, and then you'll be empty for the show. Gross. Nice one. <laughs> Thanks. Jeez, how many more you got? I'm nervous. Well, hurry up before the show starts. Looks like it's starting quick. Everyone inside my head. Let's go, everyone. Junker, stop farting. I'm trying. It's hard to shut the gate once it's open. Okay, team. This is it. The moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to steal the show.